एवरीवन नाइन डेज नाइन कलर्स वी हैव बीन इंटरव्यूइंग वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग टू नाइन वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रेन्यूर्स दोस हू हैव टेकन द रिस्क दोस हू हैव स्टार्टेड देयर ओन बिजनेस एंड बिलीव मी इट्स बीन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस टुडे इट्स समथिंग डिफरेंट टुडे वी हैव मिल्क हु इज international startup founder who is from thailand and she has given us this time where so this is probably a perfect example of cultural exchange navratri is traditionally an indian custom indian festival but milk has been working from thailand and thanks milk for joining for this particular thing and giving us a chance to host you so milk let's start the podcast Okay, sure. Thank you. Also, fabulous. So, Milk, I'll be asking you some questions regarding your entrepreneurship journey, regarding your professional life, some personal life, and then if you have any thoughts and advices for the aspiring women entrepreneurs, we would love to uh, listen to those as well. So, let's start. I'm feeling super energetic, super excited, and today it will be a different experience where we will be. discussing with the international startup founder so milk my first question is can you please uh, share something about what exactly you do what your business is about all right okay uh actually i'm from thailand as i can say so basically my family and i we export birnet drink in asia famous traditional chinese dessert and we are the association of birnet in thailand but the business i'm going to talk today is not my birdness business i'm going to talk about my second business and i'm so excited with it so basically the second business that i'm i'm doing nowadays is like the tele wellness digital franchise or we call it pro wellness it's like a wellness from the sky so basically we have a product that works better than medication and people need it that it's got a health association worldwide approved for like 60 countries worldwide and it actually changes people life for more than like 100,000 already That's so it. if you have major problems like high cholesterol diabetes overweight constantly tired you have anxiety or you have bad gut health resolve all those with a guarantee so do you know like how big the number of people having this like nowadays it yeah. it turns out to be like like almost a half of the world is like 46% of population over the world yeah and now you can imagine how big the market size is right yeah so our telewellness digital franchise can be used and expand to more than 60 countries as i say for example in usa dubai germany southeast asia asia and also india yeah so basically anyone can get the digital franchise easy and thanks to the technology nowadays and what i want to say is that uh as an uh, as an entrepreneur look at the population now we might be healthy you might be healthy but look at the population in this day like majority of people are not right majority of people they are suffering with those and then i have like i have this some research even you know india is like the second highest number of diabetes in the world like for 77 million people yeah so as an entrepreneur i want to change this thing with my business wow yeah. wow hats off hats off uh, to the intent behind this particular startup behind this particular business because uh, when uh, we work with a lot of startup founders so as a business mentor i work with a lot of startup founders the first question which i ask to them is what problem you have identified in the market and the problem which you are talking about is really alarming i mean uh, the world is evolved but if you see humans uh, mental health physical health is not evolved that much in in, in at part to the you know the world's progress so yeah. talk about diabetes talk about stress related issues talk about uh, you know obesity or uh, maybe blood pressure and uh, mm-hmm. the biggest challenge the world is facing at a very young age people are facing heart related problems kidney related problems and i see health and wellness is a really really a big area where i really congratulate to you that you guys are in the right space so thanks thanks uh, for sharing milk thanks a lot yeah uh, thank you thank you so milk uh, moving forward my next question is uh, 
uh, why you have decided to be an entrepreneur? You uh, might be doing a job or you might have chosen some another profession. Why entrepreneurship? Why business? Why start? Mm. Uh, to answer this, you know, like, actually, when you come to, you, when you become an entrepreneur, you will not only follow what they have been like that many people just say or just like uh, let you do anything. But it's like be the entrepreneur, you get to solve problems. You get to solve and do something that add value to the world. Yeah. And okay, what I want to say, I put in this word, because we can actually, my business, what we do as an entrepreneur, we can actually solve two biggest problems in the world and that people need it. So uh, the problems, in, the biggest problem that we solve first is health and second is finances. Yeah. So first reason to, to explain this, I would say that the problem now is it's, it's very hard for one person to start their own business, right? Yeah. But our digital franchise, anyone, any regions, any countries will be able to build a business, extra incomes that continue to grow and you can scale it and duplicate it, not only domestically, but like globally. Mm -hmm. uh, why do I say anyone can do this business? It's because we also thought all difficult part that normally you have to face when you do the business. Uh, you don't have to handle or invest in like production, R&D, stocks, accounting, logistics, or legal, IT, something like that. It's like I cut off all the like difficult parts and then no overhead, no employees, no rent, no stock. So basically it's totally different from a traditional franchise business. And come to the second reason, uh, we have the product that the world actually needs it. Importantly, not only need it once, but like when they know it, they won't stop using it because it will change their life forever. And that's the business retention. So uh, what I want to say is like, you can be anywhere in the world, grow the business and scale it. Nowadays, like every is borderless, right? And people yeah. who join us only focus on building their cash flow on scaling, on duplicating it. You will have a uh, digital franchise with an ecosystem in just your phone. Yeah. And then you can just expand, scale, duplicate globally unlimited. And what I say globally unlimited, it means that your profit is unlimited so and you can help everyone over the world and that's all wins yeah wow wow super i i really want to appreciate a uh, milk that uh, i come across with a lot of uh, startup founders business owners especially i work with startups msmes and SMEs, and i also work with a lot of business owners who are established so some business owners have an intent of just making money they are just concerned about the bottom line. They're just concerned about the top lines, the revenues, the profits. But in your case, I see that there's a strong intent of solving a big problem in the world. And since you are uh, in the business because of this intent, I'm sure you are going to make a lot of success in your uh, life because of this intent. So moving forward, Mil, uh, I want to understand what kind of challenges you faced as a woman entrepreneur. So I understand this question in Indian context when I, I discussed with a lot of women entrepreneurs in, a, in an Indian context, the uh, thoughts, the kind of uh, challenges, the problems which people can relate might be different. But in your country, especially uh, since you are in Thailand, the business environment might be different. The support system might be different. So I want you to throw some light on what kind of challenges you faced as a woman entrepreneur. Ah, okay. Uh, to answer that, I would say like as a woman entrepreneur, it's the challenge that normally I always face is like, uh, you have to go with bigger heart to run and do the business here. Yeah. Because like like nowadays people uh, get used to that only some, sometimes it will be only men entrepreneur, but actually there are some power that you can see from the woman entrepreneur. And but but if I, I want to put this in, in the word, if the challenge that I actually face as an entrepreneur, I would say like, okay, when no one understands or no one knows about it, or when you do something new, it seems to be a challenge, but actually it's turned out to be a big advantage and opportunity. Uh, blanket only if you prove that it's true already. Okay, uh, why do I say this? Because 
uh, if no one know it, right? You you can be the first one who goes out there and make it a known name, be the a pioneer, be the first entrepreneur who create the trend. Yeah, you don't have to follow, but you you build the trend by yourself. And the person who make everyone knows it, understand it, that person will be success. That's what I see. And yeah, I think this is the biggest challenge that I face as an entrepreneur. Brilliant, brilliant. In fact, uh, when I have evaluated around 10,000 plus startup ideas, so my work majorly was into evaluating the new startup ideas. Uh, they can be technology-based or they can be, uh, you know, uh, technology-enabled technology startups. So most of the innovative minds or innovative entrepreneurs, they face this challenge because what they can see, the others are not able to see. So to manifest that vision and, you know, convert it into a reality is a challenge because there is a less support. There is, a, you know, a less a relatability. So that's the reason I think most of the entrepreneurs, especially innovative entrepreneurs, face this challenge. And I think you mentioned it correctly. Extremely. Yeah, but that challenge is the biggest opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I really uh, admire the way you look at things. So a challenge, uh, if you see it as an opportunity, I think that's a sign of an entrepreneur. That's a sign of a leader. And I'm sure that this is going to be a very big, uh, you know, uh, conglomerate in the coming years. So that, that's really amazing to know that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So well, uh, moving forward, uh, my next question is... Uh, in this entrepreneurial journey, there might be some mentors, they can be business mentors, there might be some coaches, they can be personal coaches to uh, validate your idea or to support you, to motivate you, to push you. So what do you think, what is a role of any mentor or any coach in the journey of an entrepreneur? Oh, okay. Actually, in our business, in all business, the role of coach or mentor is quite important. So in my business, right, Telewonit Digital Franchise, we have a coach. And the coach here, we see him, uh, we see them as the navigator. Yeah. So the coach here is not a teacher to us, but they are the navigator. And what I say is like a good navigator will guide you to the right direction and mm -hmm. guide you to learn and do even better until you achieve the goal and mm -hmm. how to get the goal uh, how to get to the goal even faster the answer to this is like you use the right tool find the right vehicle so i would say like okay now what if the navigator or the coach can actually prove you the result and can show you how to achieve the goal then you just copy and paste okay. like follow them duplicate it and succeed like them that's even better right that yeah. Way. yeah. Yeah. Like like nowadays, imagine you don't have to fall, you don't have to get hurt while running the business, and that's a point of having a good coach and a navigator. So with our business, in my business also, the coach or the navigator they succeed first, then they prove you to the result and show you how to do it, and you can just like copy them by scale, duplicate it exactly as same as they do, and then get succeed like them. So what I say is like, we have the coach here, You uh, they will push you until you win first and then only they win. And that's how the coach here apply in, in my business. Wow, wow, that's, that's really great. So my next question is Milk. Uh, so since uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, women who are aspiring to become an entrepreneur, especially we are living in an era where technology, AI, uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of automation are killing jobs globally if you see a lot of job market has changed because technology is taking over ma majority of the jobs now yeah. people have started realize that apart from jobs entrepreneurship starting up a business can also be a very lucrative career apart from technology which has Killed a lot of jobs thanks to uh, new technologies like, uh, you know, VR, then there are robotic technologies and there are a lot of technologies which are killing jobs. But apart from that, COVID, the entire world has seen pandemics. They are uncertain and you never know the world can change so drastically and they might kill your jobs as well. So there are a lot of women who are aspiring to become an entrepreneur, but for them, uh, they don't have a right direction. They don't have a right motivation. So what would you like to advise? What would you like to suggest to the women entrepreneurs who are aspiring? 
Okay. So to take this one, I would like to suggest everyone like like as women entrepreneurs or as an entrepreneur, first thing first, be the person with a big heart and use this key. Like I, I will have three keys to myself and I always tell and then explain to all the entrepreneurs nowadays. First thing first, the more problems you can solve for a lot of people, the richer you become, the more add value to your life and your world also. Secondly, like the more people don't understand you, the greater opportunity. Only if you proven to them that it's true, right? Yeah. And then, okay, last one. This one is like the most significant that I always tell myself. Success in everything starts with the vision here. Like vision is the art of seeing what others cannot see or invisible, right? And then you act on it by choosing the right vehicle. Yeah, that's important. And it's the mindset here that separates you from like to the best from the less. Yeah. So I would say that I would suggest that go to go do things that give value to people and to the world. And it will return back to you for sure. And use these three keys. And you will definitely become the great entrepreneur for sure. Yeah. So, and then can I, can I say something like uh, in the end here? I sure. hope all the, like, actually, I hope all these enlighten your life. Like after you listen to all the past, the podcast here, like nine days, right? Lastly, for, for my part, what I say, I'm the, I'm one of the entrepreneurs who create the business that want to change the world also. And this is my second business, the Taylor Wellness Digital Franchise. We we have the goal, we plan to expand and scale to every country over the world to help and change the world. So any countries, anyone from anywhere that share the same mindset, share the same attitude as same as me, feel free to contact me or feel free to contact him. Yeah, I'll reach you out. And I hope this podcast reach out to all great entrepreneurs and then who actually want to change their life. But if you're not sure yet, go search for the right vehicle. I think it will change your life for sure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That uh, man, uh, I have also uh, observing you, you have been, uh, apart from your professional uh, entrepreneurial journey, you are also a fitness freak. You are also a, a gym enthusiast. So would you like to uh, share some thoughts about what exactly you do? You follow a strict diet. You also do a lot of uh, regular workout or how, anything you wish to share? Oh, okay. Actually, it's be- actually because it's related to my business also. When I used to be the person that get addicted to like do workout a lot, right? Because everyone like we want good health and good body shapes, right? But then, you know, it turns out that when you actually enter the wellness world, there are so many things that it will totally change you. Mm. So I would recommend one thing, like you just have to, yeah, be stay, stay, like get, get, go for ex- uh, exercise, work out, and then that will help you like improve your health. And when you improve your health, your brain will like even brighter. You will have like more ideas generated. Yeah. And then, okay. One thing that I want to share because I'm one of the person who work in wellness industry if you transform from inside, mm. your outer part will definitely change. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then when you have good health, mm. of course, good finance will come. And then everything, your life, you can just balance it. Yeah. And that's life. Just just like balance your life, get good health, get good finance, everything, and then surround with good people and then do things that f- add value to the world. Amazing. Amazing. I think you have concluded it in a very right manner that the life is all about balance. If you are internally fit, healthy, uh, your you know outer appear also appearance also looks like that, and then you attract good wealth. You also attract good relationships, and that's how you balance your life. So that that's really great way to conclude. Uh, thanks a lot, Milk, for uh, joining and sharing your time. Uh, most importantly, for all the viewers. Uh, when I connected with Milk regarding this particular thing, she has done a really good research about this Indian uh, Navratri festival. Uh, and I really also appreciate that uh, when I discussed with her that since in nine days, we follow nine different colors. So yesterday it was orange and today it was white. So when I asked her, coincidentally, when she was ready with white color and, and that that's really, so even I wanted to tell her that this is this uh, particular outfit is called as a kurta. It's a white kurta. 
and next time when we will have a podcast or when we will connect i am looking forward to give a uh, indian sari to uh, milk so that uh, we will see milk in this indian sari i don't know maybe but yes that that can be a i would love to <laughs> i would love to definitely okay well so thanks a lot for your time it was really great interacting with you so guys check the details with this video and those who are interested to get connected with will to get associated with uh, their startup please check the details with this video thank you see you thank you